How you doing, BK from ManforWars.com and ManforWars Media? We're on Sunday, April 12th, uh, 2020 at 5.13 p.m. Just north of Young and Bloor in downtown Toronto, Canada. And ManforWars.com, uh, promoting polite patriotism so nice ladies and gents worldwide uh, can teach kids to look, talk, and feel great offline. And so people worldwide can locally discuss and share great info they find offline, or online, offline, excuse me, so they can connect better with their neighbors, respect each other more, get better people and better places to live, get better politicians and better results by putting better ones in, or, uh, or demanding more as more informed and empowered people to get more than you typically get from your politicians and governments. And, um, you know, uh, I believe, and I'm playing uh, my song, Death to the New World Order, uh, from a few years ago, um, you know, uh, speaking to some of these issues in, in a different way. But uh, I believe it's treason if you are if you do not let Canadians act polite. It's like not letting Japanese people speak Japanese. If you're working for the international communist conspiracy, a bunch of psychopaths at the top, international banksters, convince a bunch of poor people and others worldwide uh, to kind of uh, destroy God, religion, family, men and women, kids, culture, everything, so that we can all be equal worldwide under their control that it's garbage. You should not be working for the International Communist Conspiracy, the Fabian Society, other groups seeking to push that, where the ultimate goal is to have one world communist rule, except who's in charge of that. And if you look at other communist countries, like communist China now, really evil, I uh, gotta save those people, save Hong Kong and Taipei and the rest of us from that type of shit being exported worldwide, especially during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic, coronavirus crisis. Um, you know, all those control systems that they practice on a billion people. Will they work on the other six? Yeah, probably. Here we go. So we're in it now. Um, we got we got, we got, to stop that. And uh, it's like not letting Japanese people speak Japanese or act Japanese anymore. It's like, what the hell? That's treason. You kill one person, that's, you know, bad. You kill 10 people, it's bad. You kill 37 million people in a country, that's horrible. Right? Subversive. Destroy the country. So, unless you're seriously mentally ill, it's treason to not let Canadians act polite anymore. And uh, you should be tried for treason. If you're seriously mentally ill, same thing. Blindly ignore them, don't bother them back or anybody else, everybody happier. If they like being ignored, want to stop. Everyone around, relax, mind their business, you know it's safe to be nice to you, not worry about you, what you're gonna do. And uh, you can look at it, talk to each other. Uh, and you have self-respect, you're not a mess for yourself or other people, which is uh, really important. So uh, me, I'm an average height, average weight, average build guy. I could fuck people up badly if I lost my self-respect and just took, tried to take other people's, fuck up a bunch of guys fuck up a bunch of girls, fuck up a bunch of kids, or I can make sure I'm not a mess and nobody else is to the best of my ability, like every other man should, and then girls, same, kids, same, to the best of their abilities, as opposed to making sure you're a mess and everyone else is. So, <clears throat> that's what's going on. What I'll do is I'll take a look, uh, walking down uh, Young Street with Young and Glor, and we'll see what's going on the latest. Happy Easter Sunday, charges of treason, and death to the New World Order. Well, go ahead. If you're not seriously mentally ill, it's treasonous not to let Canadians act polite anymore. We've got a national insecurity issue. We need national security strategy 2020 to beat that. Well, as you can't talk to your neighbors, you just talk to strangers with like minds online. You can barely talk to them using little fragments of words and emojis when you're talking to AI bots. Whether it's real AI bots or you turning into them. <laughs> Here at Young and Bloor. Happy Easter Sunday. Like every scumbag, prisoner, terrorist, child human trafficker, unless you execute them, prisoners in solitary confinement typically allowed one hour a day outside. Get some sun, get some exercise, and back in the hole. Make sure you get a little, just enough. Make sure you're not a bigger drain on the prisonplanet.com healthcare system. You don't go to the infirmary, you don't cost them more time, more money. So uh, using the bare minimum available. Well, unless they're seriously mentally ill, it's treason to not let Canadians be polite anymore. It's treasonous. It's like, it's like being Japanese and not letting people speak Japanese anymore. Or Italian, not letting people be, speak or be Italian anymore. It's treasonous. And if they're seriously mentally ill, not politely ignore it. Don't bother them back anybody else. Nobody likes that. Everybody happier. So walking south from Young and Bloor. Go ahead. It's treason. It's treason to not let Canadians be polite anymore. 
to be a rude, lying, un-Canadian piece of trash, acting sketchy, like someone's ugly wife or girlfriend busting their balls. They're just impotent, can't say or do shit. So no one you know wants to pay attention anymore. You go do it near strangers. It's crazy. Well, go ahead, it's treason to not let Canadians act polite anymore. Like not letting Japanese people speak Japanese. Major national insecurity issue. Need national security strategy 2020 to beat it. But if they're seriously mentally or not, politely ignore them. Don't bother them back or anybody else. Everyone's happier. No, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. It's not my bitchy, sketchy, ugly wife is bothering me while I'm impotent. Everyone's uncomfortable. And you do it with people they know, so they don't want to pay attention anymore. Then go do it near strangers. It's treason. The force people put up with you is awful, unpleasant. And then when they don't want people you know don't want to put up with you anymore, go make strangers do it. Well, it's treason. It's just a bitchy, sketchy. It's a rude, lying, un-Canadian trash. He wants to make you put up with it impotently, but you can't say or do anything. You don't like it anymore, and then goes and does it near strangers. Freeze it, not to let Canadians act polite anymore. And not letting Japanese people speak Japanese anymore. It's like bird poop. It's just yucky stuff in the ground. It bothers everyone. You don't want to pay attention to it anymore. And he goes and does it near strangers. It's just garbage. Rude lying on Canadian trash. They help people stop, we politely ignore them, that's that. Fucking treason, not to let Canadians act polite anymore. Anywhere you go, everywhere you go. Uh. Uh, It's treason. Rude, lying, un-Canadian trash. Rude, sketchy, lying, un-Canadian trash. Won't let Canadians act polite anymore. Major national insecurity issue. Need national security strategy 2020. Beat it. That treason is garbage. No one knows wants to pay attention anymore. And it goes and bothers strangers. It's treason to not let Canadians act polite anymore. And not letting Japanese people speak Japanese anymore. That rude, lying, sketchy, un-Canadian trash. Pisses off everyone it knows, and then wanders around pissing off strangers. I'll let you mind your business, be nice, look at it, talk to anybody. This has to turn you into a commie zombie for the international communist conspiracy, destroying everything so central banksters can take over. Psychopaths in charge of useful idiots. It's treason. It's just garbage on the ground bothering people. It already bothered everyone it knows. Now it bothers strangers. And people it knows don't want to pay attention to it anymore. Yeah. Shit, it'll force you to put up with it if you don't like it. And then it'll go force someone else to put up with it. That's just what it does.
Oh, go ahead. Unless it's seriously mentally ill, it's treason. To not let Canadians act polite anymore. To not let Japanese act, speak Japanese anymore. It's treasonous. It doesn't care. It just bothers you like a pretend ugly wife or girlfriend. You're just impotent, can't say or do anything. Well, you don't want to look at it anymore. It goes and does it near strangers. It's treason. Rude, sketchy, lying, un-Canadian trash. Help people stop or just politely ignore them. Don't bother them back or anybody else. Nobody likes that. Just let it go. Have it. Let it go. Enjoy its day. It's treason. Not to let Canadians act polite anymore. Not let people you know act polite and go attack strangers. Not let them act polite. That's treason. A crime punishable by death for subverting a country. Not killing one people, killing 37 million. It's a national insecurity. The national security strategy 2020 to beat it. And then rude, sketchy, lying, un-Canadian trash can be politely ignored. You don't bother them back. You don't bother anybody else. Mentally ill or just garbage. Garbage people with nose doesn't really want to look at anymore. And then garbage that tries to force strangers to barely look at it. <clears throat> oh, it's treason. It's treason. It won't let Canadians act polite anymore. It's like it won't let Japanese speak Japanese anymore. It's like it won't let Italians speak be Italian anymore. It's treason. It bothers everyone it knows. You're just impotent. You can't say or do shit. And we don't want to pay attention anymore. It goes and bothers strangers. It's garbage that people it knows are sick of. And then it's garbage that runs near strangers and makes them sick of it too. I don't bother him back or anybody else. Nobody likes that. You politely ignore him. Whether it's a seriously mentally ill person or just some rude, sketchy, lying, un-Canadian trash that bothers everyone it knows and then bothers everyone else. It's treason. Unless you're seriously mentally ill to not let Canadians be polite anymore. Not let anybody you know be polite and then wander around not letting strangers be polite. That is treason. That is destroying a country. It's national insecurity issue. The national security strategy 2020 to beat it. Otherwise, you try to mind your business. This thing will bother you. you try to be happy. This thing will bother you. you. Try to be nice to people. This thing won't let you. If it's near you, it'll act sketchy and bother you. Rude, sketchy, lying, un-Canadian trash is treasonous. That's treason to not let Canadians be polite anymore. Like being in Japan, say, oh, you can't be Japanese anymore. We're destroying everything. Religion, family, gender, everything that people like so that we can make us all equal under a central bankster mafia rule. Oh yes, yes, big joke. Psychopaths can convince useful idiots to destroy everything so they can run everything. Fucking treason. Excuse me. That's Young and Wellesley. Happy Easter. It's treason. That treasonous garbage won't let anyone know be, is, be polite. And then it attacks Canadians all over the place, not letting them be polite. That is treason. It's like not letting Japanese people speak Japanese anymore. Not letting Italians eat fucking spaghetti. You fucking crazy? That's treason. A crime punishable by death for subversive actions that can destroy a whole country. Not just kill one random idiot because you got to do an argument. That garbage bothers everyone it knows, so no one it knows wants to pay attention to it. And then that garbage goes and bothers strangers. It won't let them be nice and polite and get along either. That's treason. Canada, not letting people be polite. Rude, lying, un-Canadian trash. Bitchy, sketchy garbage. Pretend ugly wife or girlfriend busting your balls while you're impotent. Can't say or do shit, but you hate it. And then it goes and does it near strangers.
So, you politely ignore it. Don't bother it back or anybody else. Everybody have here. Life goes on. Whether it's mentally ill or just rude lying on Canadian trash. It's been easy to get involved. Or what? You want to put up with an act like it? So you're garbage, making everyone you know hate you? And wandering around bothering strangers, making them hate you? It's treason not to let Canadians be polite anymore. Treason not to let people you know be polite anymore. And then wandering around attacking nice people, not letting them be polite anymore. It's like not letting people in Japan speak Japanese anymore. Destroying the country. Destroying the culture. Destroying the people. It's treason. This garbage just bothers you and you're impotent and can't say or do anything until you hate it. And this garbage bothers other people. Making sure nobody else can do anything with each other. It's treason, it's garbage. Rude, lying, un-Canadian trash. Or mentally ill, same thing. Slightly ignore it or don't bother it back or anybody else. Nobody, nobody likes that. Everybody happier. Oh, well, finish. This garbage, no one, no one, the, the people that knew liked it. Why is this garbage bothering strangers? People with nose don't like it. Rude, sketchy, lying, un-Canadian trash. Bothering you for no reason. You're just impotent, can't say or do nothing. Like a pretend ball-busting wife or girlfriend. Hates your guts. Treason. But not let Canadians be polite anymore. I'm just killing one person. You're killing 37 million. Destroying a culture. You got 150 plus years to build. Treasonous. Force people to put up with you. They don't want to look at you anymore. And go do it near strangers. The national insecurity issue is National Security Strategy 2020. Beat it. Now I just have them look for any polite Canadians they could can find, turn them into zombies, the international communist conspiracy, to destroy everything that people like, and make us all weak and under their control. It's treason. It's garbage that bothers people with nose and they don't want to look at it. It's garbage that bothers strangers. It's garbage that makes everyone knows uncomfortable, just impotent. You can't say or do anything as a grown ass man or woman. I mean, you don't want to do anything with it anymore. It goes and does it near strangers. It's treason. Not let Canadians be polite anymore. Unless it's seriously mentally ill, it's treason. And either way, you politely ignore it. You don't bother it back or anybody else. Just let it do what it does, and that's all it can do. And that rude, sketchy, lying, un Canadian trash. They just float away, go near somebody else, bother them and float away. You go near somebody else and bother them and float away. And that's how it spends its fucking day. It's treason to not let Canadians be polite anymore. People you know and then wander around looking for polite strangers to bother. That is treason. That is treason. That is treason against the Canadian Republic, against the democracy, with the will of the people. Against people who can be nice and look at and talk to each other. That's killing 37 million. Not just one person or 10 people. That is treason. That is subversion. That is national insecurity. The national security strategy 2020 to beat national insecurity. Don't you wipe your face because I said something. Force me to put up with it, you piece of shit. Well, nobody can talk to you because it's all you do. That is treason. This is treasonous behavior here at Young and College on Easter Sunday. It's treason for that rude, lying, un-Canadian trash to not let anybody be polite anymore in Canada. Like not letting people in Japan speak Japanese. No more, no more, no more. That garbage bothers everyone it knows so no one wants to look at it anymore. That garbage goes and bothers strangers. That's treason. That's treason. That's destroying a country, destroying a culture. Bothering everyone you know so they can't be polite anymore. And then bothering strangers so they can't be polite anymore. You make us all commie zombies. Part of the international communist conspiracy. Destroy religion, family, men, women, kids, everything, culture. Bring us all under their control of central banksters. 
some psychopaths at the top want useful idiots to destroy everything so that they can control everything, just like in other communist countries. It's treason. It's treasonous garbage. It bothers you. You can't say that you're just impotent, you grown-ass man or woman. You can't do anything but be a mess while this thing's a mess. So you politely ignore it. Don't bother to back or anybody else. Nobody likes that. Same thing. Whether it's mentally ill or just rude lying on Canadian trash. But what? But it's treason to not let Canadians be polite anymore. That's a fact. This treasonous trash won't let anybody be polite anymore. It bothers everyone. You help people stop, go to hell. Oh, go ahead. This is rude, lying, un-Canadian, treasonous trash. It won't let Canadians be polite anymore. It won't let people it knows be polite, and then it goes and attacks polite strangers. Try to turn them into sketchy zombies, too. That's treason. Not let Canadians be polite anymore. Like not letting Italians speak Italian anymore. Destroying their culture. I cannot be Italian no more. I cannot enjoy my spaghetti, my risotto. No. It won't let you. Nobody's allowed to. That's treason. This garbage bothers everyone it knows. So everyone it knows doesn't want to pay attention to that garbage. And that garbage bothers strangers. Try to turn them into garbage. That's treason. All right, it's rude, lying, un-Canadian trash. It bothers you. You can't say or do anything. You're just impotent while it bothers you like a pretend ugly wife or girlfriend. And then when you're sick of it, it bothers strangers. And it won't let anybody be polite anymore. That's treason. Not letting Canadians be polite is treason. Like not letting Japanese people speak Japanese. Not letting Italians speak Italian. It's treason. It's a national insecurity issue. We need National Security Strategy 2020 to beat it. Well, that's all you'll have left. Handful of bits and pieces of polite Canadians barely hanging on and rude, lying, sketchy, un-Canadian trash attacking the... All of them. All of them. Until you're rude, lying, un sketchy, un-Canadian trash too. That's treason. To not let Canadians be polite anymore. To not let anyone you know be polite. They go not let strangers be polite. That's treason, sir. We're not polite, what are we? Fucking zombies? That's treason. That's garbage bothering people it knows. Trying to turn them into garbage. And when it's finished and they can't pay attention to each other, it's garbage bothering strangers. Try to turn them into garbage. Go ahead, you mind your business there. It'll bother you. You be nice there, it'll bother you. You look at it, talk to someone, it'll bother you. It'll force you to see something you won't like. And that's treason to not let Canadians be polite. It's treason against the culture of Canada and the people of Canada. It's treason. It's rude, lying, un-Canadian trash. Unless it's mentally ill, in which case, same thing, politely ignore it, don't bother it back or anybody else, everybody happier. It's treason. Not let Canadians you know be polite anymore and wander around bother strangers and not let Canadian strangers be polite anymore. That's treason. Not killing one people, you're killing 37 million. Subverting a country, destroying a culture. For what? 
international banksters, psychopaths, and the international communist conspiracy. Destroy God, family, men, women, everything we like. Make us all equal under their control while they sit on top of us and shit on us. That's treason. Nobody can talk about it. You're not allowed to be polite. Because some rude, lying, sketchy, young Canadian trash makes people it knows, not allowed to be polite, and then attacks strangers, doesn't allow them to be polite. That's treason. Unless it's seriously mentally ill, that's treason. And either way, politely ignore it. Don't bother it back, bother anybody else. Nobody likes that. Everybody happier. That's treason. Garbage that nobody wants to pay attention to anymore. Bothering strangers, turning them into garbage. Nobody wants to pay attention to anymore. That's treason. Not letting Canadians be polite. Teach kids to respect each other. Communicate well. Except for maybe on the internet. Or everything's kind of squirrely anyway. That's treason against the Republic of Canada and against the Canadian people. You want to fuck up people you know? Bad enough. You want to fuck up strangers? Fuck up everybody where you live? That's treason. It's rude, lying, un-Canadian, treason is trash. Not letting Canadians act polite anymore is treason. It's treason. Not letting people you know act polite, and then when you can't pay attention to each other, bothering strangers and not letting them be polite is treason. It's like not letting Japanese people speak Japanese. Or Italian people who eat, what are we, zombies if we're not polite? The fuck is that? Garbage we don't like to pay attention to? And then garbage trying to force strangers to look at us? It's treason. Unless you're seriously mentally ill, it's treason to not let Canadians act polite anymore. And either way, politely ignore it. Don't bother them back, bother anybody else. Help people stop or that's all they want to do. You're a young and dead ass. That's not my old lady. Not my old lady. That's not my ugly wife or girlfriend. It's just a lying, bitchy, sketchy mess that acts like that with everyone so you don't want to pay attention to it, and then it goes and does it near strangers. It's rude, lying, un-Canadian garbage. I'm not embarrassed, not blamed, not my ugly wife. This impotent while my ugly wife is a mess, bitchy, sketchy, ugly mess. Not my ugly ass wife. Someone that does that with everyone so you don't want to pay attention to it anymore, then goes and does it near strangers. It's treason. Rude, lying, treasonous, un-Canadian trash. Unless it's seriously mentally ill, either way, you politely ignore it. You don't bother it back. You don't bother other people. But when all it wants to do is bother people it knows so you don't want to pay attention to it anymore and turn them into garbage and then bother strangers all day and night and turn them into garbage, that is treason against polite Canadians and against the country of Canada. You try and mind your business. See what it does. See it bother you. You try and be nice to someone. See it bother you. Try and force you to see it look ugly like it's a nice person. You try and talk. You try and look at someone. You see it bother you. Try and force you to see it look ugly like it's a nice person. Until all you can do is force it to see you look ugly back when you can't do anything else with it. When you can't do anything else with each other, it goes and does it to strangers. That is treason. Not letting Canadians be polite anymore is treason. Like going to Japan saying, none of you are allowed to speak Japanese anymore. Don't, don't try it. 